Good day, Cancer viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy. And thank you for clicking on the like button and the share button and that notification button to let you know when I'm uploading new videos or going live. Also, if you leave a comment for me, um, it'd be appreciated if this resonates with you or any feedback if you'd like. It all helps. Thank you so much. I am shuffling for the Cancer Collective for August 2022. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know for their greatest good for August 2022? I do want to apologize in advance. You might hear the air conditioning click on. It has been quite warm here in Pennsylvania. All right, Spirit, can I have one more card for the Cancer Collective for August 2022, please? What does the, whoa, the Cancer Collective need to know? Oh, two, thank you. Okay, so we have Starry Night Acceptance. Then Elves Playfulness. Purification, and Storm Spirit, Chaos. Okay, so I am getting a, a message that there needs to be more playfulness I feel like you've been very, very serious lately. Um, maybe you've been overworking or um, surrounding yourself with colleagues. Um, maybe you need some downtime. Maybe it is the time of year where people go on holiday or vacation. So maybe um, it's time to take a vacation. I feel like you are being called to bring out your inner child and uh, let your your that seriousness, this uh, business-like um, persona, take the back burner for a little bit. Um, I'm getting that there needs to be a cleansing of sorts um, to for. Re re rest and relaxation, maybe some self-love. Um, I keep hearing cleansing. Um, I feel like there needs, this needs to happen or we're going to enter into, um, this storm spirit, which is a little bit chaotic. This is, um, along the lines of the tarot card. So I feel like if if you keep up this business-like persona or the serious nature of yours and you don't let go a little bit, um, then there, there's something that might be happening. There's some sort of, um, something's going to be disrupted. Um, maybe you're overworking. Maybe, you know, people in your life aren't, um, seeing you as much maybe they want to spend more time with you this could be affecting your um your root chakra your stability so these are all things you have to think about yes uh, there's no doubt in my mind that everybody is is definitely feeling the the money problems as of late being in this recession um you know everything is so very expensive and yes it, working the extra hours making that that money is very important right now but so is the quality of your your home life of your personal life so i just feel like you are being called to kind of like wipe this the slate clean get some um some clarity some uh, away time for you to be you um, to accept that you're one person and the people 
who you've built your life around are the people in your personal life because you're very replaceable at work you're not replaceable in your personal life um and this is it's hard it's hard to um to get into that that mindset but it's true um you know you kind of feel like the world will stop if you don't if you stop but it won't um i also feel like there's some kind of um I feel like there may be some kind of dreams you're chasing. Um, this is separate from what I was talking about with um, this acceptance card is here. And I feel like it's separate from the, you know, going on, you know, self-love and all that. But I, I feel like this is, um, you're trying to find peace or maybe you're looking for, something you feel a longing for something is what i am hearing um you're trying to chase your dreams they haven't come into reality yet um you thought you had them but there's something else that you're longing for um something else that um th you're you're just not feeling fulfilled you should you, you seemingly you have everything that you want and desire but there's something else that that you're looking for and you're not sh quite sure how to achieve it or how to attain it. Um, but I feel like if you let spirit give you these downloads and signs, then you'll figure out how to attain and achieve these, these, um, desires that you have to fulfill your life. All right. So I'm going to move on to the tarot deck. All right, Spirit, I am shuffling for the Cancer Collective's greatest good. Thank you for revealing to them what they need to know for their greatest good for August 2022. What does the Cancer Collective need to know for their greatest good for August 2022? Okay, so the first card to come out is King of Swords in the reverse. So you may have cut somebody off. Um, you may be um, looking for messages from somebody then they're not answering you. We have the Six of Cups. Um... Somebody may be um, stalking you or your social media. We have the High Priestess. Thank you. And we have the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, so... I have this high priestess here who is a divine feminine who is very in touch with their intuition in your life. Very intuitive. Um, they're looking to, they're trying to help guide you without the high priestess doesn't really speak so she's trying to pull back let you figure out things for yourself but um is trying to guide you saying things without saying a word maybe through actions maybe through example um i feel like you know you aren't really hearing this you don't want to hear it you don't want to you're turning away from this advice you're turning away from the intuitive nature the protective nature of this of this um high priestess energy 
um, it's falling on deaf ears. Um, it could be because this uh, this person who's the high priestess uh, might have leveled up before this um, this king of swords. Um, but they're trying to teach you through example and you're just like, I don't want to hear any of it. Um, I know what I'm doing. Um, there's not a whole lot of communication here. Like I said, the high priestess does a lot through example and this uh, king of swords is in reverse, which means there's not a lot of good communication. You're not a good communicator. So, um, so whatever energy this high priestess is putting out, you're like, mm, I got this. All right, thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, but really what you're looking for is just to be equals. You just want to be, I'm going to clarify this six of cups. It's give and take like, but I just feel like there's a, a little bit of a problem with you with that. Like I said, there's not a whole lot happening with this king of swords energy with the give and take like there's you've just been kind of um tuning all the advice and the lessons that you should be or spirit wants you to to be accepting you're just kind of it's falling on deaf ears um so let me clarify the six of cups for our cancer spirit I'm shuffling to clarify the Six of Cups energy for our Cancer Collective. Shuffling to clarify the Six of Cups energy for our Cancer Collective. Okay, so we have the Ace of Coins in the challenge position. This means there was an opportunity or an opportunity is being presented to you that you're having struggle with. Um, we have Eight of Swords. So good things are going to be coming in for you very quickly. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the offer that you're struggling with is um, fleeting. It is, it's an offer that's only going to last for a uh, momentarily. It's coming in quick and it's going to leave quickly. Um, but there's, there's some kind of offer on the table. Um, maybe there is, um, you know, to work something out or to, um, you know, to try to communicate. Um, but this, like I said, this offer, it might have already come and gone. Um, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot of contact here. And um, the offer that was on the table might have already been pulled off. Like, that's how quickly we're talking. Um, you know, there might have been like, okay, maybe there can be compromise. But it looks like the offer has passed. Your, there was a struggle with it. And now it's gone. Okay, now we have the King of Pentacles clarifying <clears throat> the... Um, the King of Swords energy. So it looks like, you know, like I said in the beginning, it looks like you are um, working, working. You've been working very hard. This person might have, um, have a good job, could be established, um, may own their own home. Uh, 
have their own assets and uh, kind of has been adulting for a while. Knows what they're doing. Can I have another card to clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse? Okay, just the one. We have this, the Six of Coins again. Okay, so... There is a... Someone from the past is coming in. And like I said, they want... They're looking for equal give and take does someone from the past may um, have an offer for you maybe it's a job um, with all these coins uh, maybe it's a collaboration um, working on something together Maybe this is somebody that you used to work with um, at a previous job and you're coming together partners or um, something for a project or a maybe you're starting a business venture together. We have one more card to clarify the King of Swords. But the offer is only going to stay on the table. For so long before they ask somebody else so if you want it go get it don't drag your feet okay so we have the moon um some type of change is coming in uh there might be secrets or you might be getting to know somebody and they're revealing things to you that you weren't aware of. Um, you might be asking a lot of questions. Maybe it's somebody that from your past that you haven't seen, like I said. And they are, um, you know, you're trying to catch up. Maybe I just heard running into somebody um, maybe at the beach or the boardwalk or on your vacation. And you... Uh, you could be with your families and uh, you're going to catch up while you're down there. Maybe go to dinner or something along those lines. Uh, Spirit, what do you have to clarify the Six of Cups for our Cancer Collective? Can you clarify the Six of Cups for our Cancers, please? Thank you. I didn't think three were going to come out. Okay, so we have the devil in reverse. We have the eight of cups in reverse. And the knight of wands in reverse. This is something... This person from the past is somebody that... Um, you let go of. Or they let go of you. This person. Somebody may have had an addictive behavior. Um, and this. You know somebody decided to call it quits. They walked away. With this eight of cups in reverse. And this wasn't a long term relationship. Um. Or, I'm sorry, it was a long-term relationship, but um, with this disconnection, with this behavior, it cut things short.
and they had to walk away to find because they were leveling up and maybe you weren't or vice versa depending how you want to take it maybe you were leveling up and your person wasn't um but they had to they had to go it was a passionate relationship but then this the behavior was what was off-putting this is the two of coins decisions you're juggling juggling a lot right now um i'm, I'm clearing the high priestess energy I feel like your hands are full. You might be overwhelmed. It's like I just got when you're juggling two items, your hands are only empty for a split second before the ball lands back in your hands. So spirits telling me to use the example like that's how much time right now you have a free time like the when your hands are empty from the two balls a juggler that's how much free time you have you have on your hands and um there needs to be some downtime there you need to disconnect from something uh, that's taking up a lot of time like i said this could be work um you might be called to, um, like I said, be more playful, show some self-care, maybe take a spa day, maybe a weekend with your family, or um, maybe you won't need to get away from your family. Maybe you need um, a guys or girls weekend. Okay, yes, yeah, see, overwhelmed, nine of sorts, or nine of wands. You are constantly saying just one, just one more time. Uh, just one more week of working late just one more you're constantly just one more to the people who love you and they've been going along with it they've been saying okay you know what cancer sure but now they're getting kind of like you know what how long is this going to go on for okay and then we have the chariot card which is your card and um it shows action it's an action card you're moving forward you might be finally hearing what people are having to say um there might have been an ultimatum i'm hearing maybe somebody said you know what this has to change or i'm gonna peace out and that's what really is finally like being like oh shit, this is serious now um, this could also be a card to work on your, on your spiritual side, your light and your dark side, address not just your, the light, your light inside of you, but your darkness. Um, I'm hearing you need to tap in and have a dark night of the soul. There needs to be a, a um, your dark shadow needs to be addressed. Your shadow self needs to be touched. I'm hearing repression. This might be from your childhood. It might be um, from when you were a teenager. But some, there's something that needs to be addressed. Uh, before you can move on in a positive nature. Okay, then we got the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, this is you taking a step back. For I, I feel like you were getting a lot of attention um, from people. Uh, you were spotlighted for something. I'm clarifying the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, 
I feel like maybe you had blinders on before. Um, you weren't seeing the full picture. But now you are pulling back from something. Somebody was giving you a lot of attention or there was... Um, you got an award or something. Or there was some kind of... You were spotlighted. And now you're pulling back from that energy. This is the Eight of Swords. And you're in your head about it. This is causing you some sleepless nights. This is causing you um, to be in your head. To think irrational things. Um, you're not addressing it. Like I said, I don't think there's been much communication between you and your person. Whoever that may be. It could be a boss. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a spouse. It could be um, you know, a father figure, mother figure. Um, could be siblings. So, But there's been not a whole lot of commu communication there. Because all your communication has been with yourself in, in your head. Um, there needs to be... Uh, a conversation definitely a conversation needs to be had if not for anything but closure if you decide not to um, you know there needs to there needs to be some kind of uh, something needs to be addressed Can I have just one more card from this deck to clarify the two of swords in reverse. I just have one more card from this deck. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. So you are going to be winning. You are going to get, you know, the house, the, the white picket fence. Um, Ten of Pentacles is about a lot of material things. And maybe you or your counterpart is, um, is definitely into appearance, appearances and keeping up with people, um, or keeping up, you know, for your own benefit. Um, but you're, there's going to be an abundance coming your way. If this is work, you're going to um, maybe be getting a raise or more jobs. Or there's going to be an increase in your pay. Maybe there's going to be a bonus coming your way. Um, but there's going to be more work, I'm hearing. More... Uh, but there is, I'm also hearing, but there's going to also be me more time to spend with those people who care about you. I feel like spirits telling you to pull back the six of swords or, or six of wands. Gotcha. You're pulling back from, from your job. And once this happens, this is when you're going to be rewarded. Yes, it, the spirit's saying, yeah, it probably doesn't make sense. But once you are good or put what matters first, you're going to get more jobs. And I'm hearing hiring people to help you. You're going to be put in a position where maybe your company's growing or, um, you know, your company's going to hire more people to help with something. Um, but it's going to be lucrative for you. If you just take a step back and concentrate on what really matters to you, your, your stability and your own life. All right. So I am going to pull one more card to end this reading. Spirits, I'm shuffling for my hands are small and these are big. I'm shuffling for the Cancer Collective's greatest good. What message do they need to hear for their greatest good? Can 
I have one more message for the Cancer Collective, the greatest good. Thank you. And this says, first quarter moon in Cancer. Push through any insecurity. So for whatever reason, um, you may be feeling insecure. Um, you might not feel comfortable, um, you know, with changes or um, saying no to people when they say, hey, can you stay a few more hours? You might not feel comfortable doing that. Um, but I feel like it's going to be necessary for you to pull back a little bit. Um, I just got a diamond in the rough. I know that's from Aladdin. Maybe you're watching Aladdin. I don't know. Um, maybe you have some polishing up to do. Um, but. Yeah. Push through any insecurity. Get through those uncomfortable situations. Um, have more self-confidence. You're awesome. That's where I'm going to leave this. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me. Please see below in the description box for a personal reading. Please click share and those subscribe um, notification. You know, the whole thing. Uh, leave a comment, please, for feedback. And I will see you next time. Bye, Cancer.